I have a very nice lady with me today who um, unfortunately has scleroderma and scleroderma patients know that they are a unique brand. They have <laughs> issues that other people don't and uh, unfortunately the skin doesn't do very well with scleroderma. It can lead to a lot of problems with tightness and um, lack of you know oil and just feels like leather like sometimes. Not a fun thing at all and some cases can be extreme. Our patient is very fortunate. She does not have an extreme case so that's why she's still with us because um, some patients unfortunately don't make it that far. But at the same time, we want to improve the quality of skin. And for our patient, we are going to try Sculptra. Her scleroderma is stable. And that's important because if you're unstable and you're having issues, not a good idea to do any fillers. But if you're stable and doing well for a while, then I think it's worthwhile to try to look even prettier. No harm with that at all. So in our patient's case, we are going to start with Sculptra. Um, and with Sculptra, we want to inject the cheeks because if we have any issues, and the cheek, cheek can hide any problems going on like a lump or nodule that Sculptra can make at times. If that goes well, then we can go on to try to enhance the area around the lip and the chin. As you can see, that is critical, but I want to start first with the cheek area. And we'll keep you posted and make sure that we can get a great result. You know, she's a happy lady, but uh, <laughs> we want to make her happier because this is annoying. You know, you look at yourself and you're like, oh boy, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, it happens to all of us, but if you can make it better, then it's worthwhile. And I'm very curious to see her back again in a month to see how she did. And then if she did well, then we'll start working around the perioral areas, which are very critical. And you'll see in all of scleroderma patients, the area around the mouth is always a pain in the neck, but mm -hmm. we'll fix it. These are the cheekbones and they're really skeletonized. So we want to make sure that we can have some extra soft tissue over here. So that's what we're going to do. It's very easy and gentle. So there we go. We had patients use a little bit of sun, uh, ice, uh, ice so that we can numb up the area and reduce any discomfort. And that's what we are doing right now. Very excited about it. I think that's gonna really help. Great, good, good, good. Excellent. Good. I'm gonna borrow your hand to hold this here, please. Yes. Right there. Thank you. And then we we'll go on to the other side. as well. Mm -hmm. Good. So we had done this sculpture and as you can see it got nice cheeks but that's just temporary because the water will be absorbed and it'll go away very fast within a day or two and then within two weeks the collagen buildup starts and keeps going on for about a month. So we'll see our patient in a month to see how much of an effect we got, if we had any issues, any lumps, bumps or anything to be concerned about and we did um, aggressive massage here and we'll have the patient massage with a moisturizer this area. Uh, five times a day seems excessive. If you can do it, do it at least three times a day, five minutes each time. And with circular motion to kind of like just try to disperse everything and minimize any risk of any lumps and bumps. If this works well and we do not encounter any problems of too many lumps or bumps, then we can move on to the lower area, which is our primary concern right here. So let's see what happens when we meet in a month. We'll keep you posted.